Okay, English 2. Uh, I'm going to kind of go from the beginning here so you can know how to get to your site. Um, so you're going to go to relibrary.com right here. You're going to find your cultural issues research and you're going to click on this. When you click on this, this link right here, this click here, don't go down and click on wherever the Macanvia is. Don't go to Macanvia.com. Go to this link right here because this link will take you directly into your Macanvia group for this assignment. And you'll know it's the Macanvia group because it says English to Cultural Issues Research at the top and you want to be in that group. Right here on the view instructions, this little black bar, this first link right here, Cultural Issues Research Assignment Sheet, that is the link that you want to click on to take you to the assignment sheet. On the assignment sheet right here are the links to the website. So you guys are going to be either Within 1B or Rudis 1B. So uh, when you click on this, if your name is not over here on the side, um, please, uh, Miss Whiffen or Miss Rudis, email me or Miss Strew and we will get them added. Um, we're going to be gone on Tuesday. We're going to be out, but we can um, be checking your email. And if there's an issue, you can let us know and we'll get the person added really quickly. Okay. So, students, you are going to come over here and you are going to find your name. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to pick somebody first person on the list here okay so you are going to go into your page and when you go into your page oh you can't see it on. you are going to see this little edit icon right here if you don't see this edit icon uh, again teachers let us know so we can make sure and get those kiddos added but you guys kids you're going to click on this edit icon right here little pencil guy and then it's going to open up to look like this and you'll know you're in edit mode so if for some reason your name is spelled wrong or something you can change that right here so from here you are going to go to insert and then you are going to go from drive so you're going to click on this from drive icon and from here it's going to take you into your google drive okay and this is my google drive obviously not yours and you are going to find your graphic organizer that you've been working on for this class okay so let's pretend that uh, this one here is mine and then I'm going to click on the insert button right down here at the bottom where it says insert I'm going to I'm going to click on this insert button and what happens is this is inserting it's not uh, it's embedding your Google Doc so you can continue to edit this and you should be able to see those edits reflected here. You can open this up a little more. You can make it a little bigger if you want to include more of whatever's on the page. But whenever you publish this, you're going to be able to click this open in a new tab and it's going to pop open your Google Doc so that you can see the whole thing. So don't worry about if you're like, oh, all I can see is this part, not the graphic organizer. That's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this layouts thing and if it's not uh, open, just open it like that. And you're gonna click on this little icon here that has the two pictures and the two descriptions. Because as you are working, and your teachers can explain this in more detail, but as you are working through your graphic organizer, you're going to be asked to come up with some sort of solution from, uh, you are going to come up with some sort of solution to your country's uh, cultural issue or conflict okay so over here you're going to find two images and I'm going to talk about images in just a minute that you are going to put in here you're going to put here in this text box your citation for whatever image you use and then here is where you're going to put your description of your solution and that image this is more than just a explanation of what is in the picture, okay? You want to describe your solution to this cultural issue for this country in this box fully, okay? So there should be a, probably a lot of words in here. All right, so that is how you're gonna do the content for this, uh, for this page, okay? And uh, 
I'll come back in here, Angel, and take all this out in a minute. Don't worry. Uh, and so then the other piece that I'm going to show you is images. For this particular assignment, you must, because you are building a web page, uh, you, must you must put images on here that we either have the rights to use, copyright rights to use, or you have to use copyright free images. So my suggestion for this assignment is that you first go to this database right here, Britannica Image Quest, because this is a database that we pay a lot of money for, for you to have access to that is full of images. And um, these images are copyrighted, but we have permission to use these images because we're paying for the service as long as you cite them. So for instance, if I come in here and I put Uganda in poverty, okay, I get 220 images that are available for me to use, okay? So if I want to use, let's see, let's just say I want to use this image right here, okay? I can click on it and I would suggest that uh, however many images that you think you might want to use as you're going through and looking for them, go ahead and download five or six of them. That would be totally fine. And what you can do is just download them and then I suggest that you upload those images to your Google Drive because what happens is when you're on a Chromebook, you uh, log out of that Chromebook and everything that's in your downloads goes away. So you want to make sure that if there's images that you even think you want to use that you go ahead and download them and upload them into your Google Drive. So when you get to an image that you want to use, in addition to downloading it and uploading it, you want to go ahead and grab this citation. And you can throw this citation onto your Works Cited page, and that way you have it, and then you can delete out any of the citations that you don't use. But you're also going to want to take this citation and put it in the first uh, caption, or first, um, text box here so that your teacher knows where this image came from okay and that it came from a reliable source and that it's either you have permission to use it or it is copyright free so Britannica image quest is what I'm going to suggest to you I believe there are images in both student resources and context and opposing viewpoints and context as well as Britannica school so you could use those to look for images but Britannica image quest is going to be your best bet for this assignment now let's say that you want to go to Google and you're just dying to go to Google and do your image search in Google. I'm going to show you, uh, oops, let's see, I moved my box so much I can't, ah, hold on, sorry, ah, I can't, even, I can't move it up anymore, what's going on here, there we go. So let's say I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to Uganda, oh jeez, Uganda and poverty, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go to images here. And then once I'm in images, I'm going to go to tools, usage rights, labeled for reuse. Okay. So now these are images that I could uh, most likely safely use um, as long as I also, again, provide a citation. So let's say that I want to use uh, this image right here. Okay. So I can click on this image, and then in order to be able to use this image, I'm going to download it and upload it to my Google Drive, and then I'm going to click visit for the site because I need to uh, provide a citation for where this image came from. So I'm going to go to the site, and then I'm going to go to my cite this for me extension up here, and I'm going to click on it and hopefully this doesn't take forever. I'm going to now copy and paste the citation for this image into my um, Works Cited page. And then if I end up using it in my web page, I will put it right here, okay? So, just a, a reminder there. And then also, this step for Google searching, there's an image right here that tells you tools labeled for reuse, uh, and then right here, um, how, how to how to do that. So that is there for you as well. Okay. So as you are using uh, images, we again we want to make sure that we uh, are using images that we either have permission to use with a citation or images from the web that are labeled for reuse, and then include the citation. Okay. So uh, if you guys have any questions or issues. Feel free to uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to help. All right. Good luck, Lions.